Okie dokie, we're playing through <laughs> uh, Sucker of Waterworks by Faulty98 and we do indeed have a lot of pink in the background, I believe Sakura is, or Sakura, however you pronounce it. Um, well, is, uh, well, is Sakura the, the word for pink? I think it is, but I'm not sure. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was a scary up. <laughs> Okay, we do not have the invincibility roll, so yeah, we gotta keep that in mind. And wow, <laughs> that was close. And I see, we're gonna have these things here. Oh, I missed my ride, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> wow, that was perfect time, you fell right onto the right there. Okay, so, duly noted. Get on those two. Very nice. And oh, I'm not Proto Man, don't try that. Yeah, I've been playing so much Proto Man in Tyler Bots levels, so yeah. Just assuming I'm coming with a shield equipped here. Or I'm assuming I'm coming with equipped with a shield. Okay, well, whatever. Grammars aside. Let's see what we can do here. As per usual, we have very, very nice V shells here. Which I like very much. Nice, and yeah, we even have this custom. Yeah, plate. The, the custom plates in the background there. Looking very sharp. Very sharp indeed, and. Nice. Okay, well. Okay, okay. Oh god, yeah, these kind of these, or well, these spike things are gonna be annoying later on, I can already tell. <laughs> We're gonna have some crazy platforming with them, I'm sure. And as per usual, uh, Fotis levels recently start out kind of easy, but make no mistake, they typically get a lot harder, like past the first or second checkpoint. Um, yeah, they tend to step up quite a bit. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I love the visuals in this room here. Like the pipes and the crack blocks. Yeah, that looks very nice. And that was a poor jump. Nice. Let's just let's just do this here, why don't we? Yeah, this is very Mega Man 5-ish, or 6-ish, whichever game these are from. Yeah, and actually the broom is the best weapon against them, I now realize here. Yeah, let's just get on up here and wail on him. Wow, <laughs> that egg was seriously coming for me there. This is so interesting, you know. I actually have not seen people use the uh, small little egg guys like this before, like, the hands are taking, well, cover behind the environments and sending out their chicken eggs through an, a little opening there, that was very nicely placed, uh, a very nicely placed chicken. Alright, another checkpoint maybe? Yep, and now it's gonna step up in difficulty I'm sure after yeah after the boss here okay well whoa oh and this is actually gonna be a little bit trickier than a standard splash woman room yeah since we are very very close to her oh yeah and you know what we gotta make sure we yeah, charge your broom so we can escape the fish here. Nice. Ooh, dude. I almost walked on the spike there. Well. I'm probably dead, but I'm gonna keep trying. Wow, I released it split second too late. Split second too late.
Okay. Dang, what am I doing? Pay attention. Dang it, yeah, I placed myself very poorly there. Dude! There's no reason to take this much damage. Come on now, we have already done this. We know how she works. Yeah, actually there is a little bit of a delay when you have charged up the room, so you gotta let go a little bit prematurely there. Ooh. And yeah, it's also very nice that Splash Woman's hitbox is very generous, like see. Her fin is obviously touching you, but you don't take damage. Well, I'm gaining back. Nice. Dang! Oh wow, dude, yeah, that should totally have hit me. Yes! I made it! Okay, well that was a pretty cool boss fight. The spikes here made it a lot tougher to fight her than it would have been in a open room. Okay, well, now we're underwater here. Okay, okay. Very interesting and holy cow, the chickens are out for blood and I accidentally fell on the spike. Whoops. <laughs> they're, they're... <laughs> Did you see that? The eggs are actually jumping out of here. Wait, we gotta see that. <laughs> they are actually getting the heck out of the water. Okay, we can just sit here and dang it, I kind of would have liked to have that. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, now we know what to do with those guys in that particular room. Hmm, yeah. Very interesting. Well, <laughs> very interesting stage, I gotta say. Oh my. What surprises me the most is how thought they can crank out so many stages, like, without having the quality suffering, you know. They are obvious, obviously very... Oh, they are obviously very well made. But he, he only takes a week or two in between each stage, I think, or maybe three, something rather like that. He builds very fast and still keeps up a very high quality here. Okay, well, we gotta time this. Dang, okay, I wasn't perfectly centered there. <laughs> okay, just gonna try that out, and now we should be fine. Dang it, dude. Okay, okay, one more try. Okay, well, you know what? Screw this. <laughs> Let's go for it. What? Mm. Wow, okay, that is tricky. Holy crap, you're going so far now! Or fast! But you see... <laughs> this is what I mean with Faris levels. They tend to ramp up a lot in difficulty. Like, it starts out... It starts out... Very easy. Well, not very easy. It starts out kind of easy. And then it just... You know... Ramps up. Not saying that's a bad thing. But I'm just, I'm just saying... You gotta be ready for it, you know? <laughs> Whoa. Huh. Well, that was not the right window to move. Oh, God. He is killing me. Hmm. What? Wow. Okay, so that's why that submarine is there. He's. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Holy crap. The deadliest submarine I've seen, actually. Okay, well, we can sit here for free. Go! Die! Thank you. Yum! Uh. Oh god, this is dangerous. Get out of here. Nice, nice duty. Almost had me. Ooh. I thought I would bonk my head and die there. Dude, that would have been so sad. So sad, and 
Jesus Christ, do not kill me. Wow, oh my, I don't know how to dodge those guys properly yet. <laughs> like, sometimes if you s stand still, they will just miss you. Oh god, this aim tank is so scary to go for. Will I even do it? Oh god, there is so much happening in here! Okay, the bottom one we're gonna jump on, and it's slow as molasses. So go on that. Careful there, jump there. Then where do we go? From the bottom one? Maybe jump back onto the left one, maybe. I'm just gonna try to see what happens. Oh god. Oh god, yeah, get out of there. Uh. Do we go for the M tank? I guess we are gonna go for it. Well, no, you know what? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna die if I go for it. I just know I am. I just know. I just know it. Please don't make me die, Mr. Faulty. <laughs> Please don't tell me I have to go there. Ooh, what a sick looking boss room! This totally looks Japanese for, um, well, what is his name again? Yamato Man, yeah. Very appropriately themed. Whoa. Oh god, he moves very fast in this room. Oh! Ah. Yeah, I suck at fighting Yamato Man here. I suck at fighting most bosses, what else is new? Okay, well, can we, yes, nice, good damage. Oh, I jumped too high. What? Dude. But I keep jumping up into it, like a stupid. I, oh. <laughs> I should not have been allowed to win that. That was so stupid how I won that. I, yeah, I played that so badly. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> obviously we're gonna upload that stage. That was a very nice one, and I did notice Fuddy uploaded a yet another level, Torchlit Summit, which I have noted and written down. So I will get to this one eventually as well. So yeah. As for the Sakura Waterworks, uh, very nice level. Um, yeah, it wasn't actually too hard. There were definitely, though, a, a few rooms where I got scared, you know, with the Mega Man 9 Splash Room platforms. Um, yeah, especially that last one with the M tank. And there were also another room before that where I remember. Yeah, there were some strict jumps where you can very easily die a lot if you. Yeah, if you don't know what you're doing, I guess. So. <laughs> yeah, I got a little bit lucky there with a few with a few of the rooms, so yeah. Either way, great stage once again, faulty, and keep up the good work in the next one. We're gonna be well, not in the video exactly after this one, but sometimes sometime in the future we're gonna check out the Torchlit Summit there for sure. So yeah. Hopefully you will look forward to that and yeah, I just run it off with that, so <laughs> Uh, thank you guys so very much for watching and have a wonderful evening or day or whenever you're watching this. So, yeah, see you later.